Kelsey, aka Real with Mrs. B, and I'm back today because the wonderful YouTube friend of mine, Connie Porter, invited me to do a collab on prepackaged food versus making it at home. So I'm going to replicate something and hopefully it'll be cheaper. It will definitely be tastier and uh, better for you. So um, this, I'm really excited about this collab. It definitely was a challenge and I thought it was a great idea. It is an open collab, so if you would like to join us, please do. I would love to see your creations. And uh, today I am going to replicate Bertoli's uh, spinach and ricotta cheese cannelloni. So I'm going to show you what ingredients I have. So this is everything that you would need to make this recipe. I have olive oil, salt and pepper, I have um, onion powder and garlic sauce, a container of ricotta cheese, spinach, um, grated parmesan, this is equivalent to that, and then instead of cannelloni I have man manicotta, which is pretty much the same thing, mozzarella cheese, one egg, minced garlic, some diced tomatoes because um, I'm trying to replicate it exactly and they do have some diced tomatoes on the top, and then butter. And I have um, some, a grater here for the mozzarella, and I have um, a mixing bowl. And then I have two pans over here that I'm going to saute the spinach in and um, make the Alfredo sauce. So I'm kind of working off of these two recipes, but I will go through it with you guys. And I'm really excited to see the end result, and I'm pretty sure it's going to look just like it and taste even better. Duh, I forgot an important ingredient for the Alfredo sauce, which is heavy whipping cream. So this is a two cup container of that as well. All right, so I use about a tablespoon of oil and mixed about half of the bag of the spinach, just wilted it all. I'm letting it cool now because I'm gonna chop this up real fine for to stuff the uh, manicotta. I shredded up all of the mozzarella so I have it ready to go. And then I combined the egg with the ricotta cheese and added seasoning to it. I'm going to mix that up. The egg really helps um, everything stick together. It's not necessary, but it definitely helps. So I'm going to add the cheese to it, chop up the spinach, mix it all together, and then I have my filling for the pasta. For the Alfredo sauce, I just took a half a cup of butter, melted that completely down, and then I just added the heavy cream. So now I'm just going to whisk it all together let it heat up for and simmer for about five minutes until it thickens up some. I'll add the garlic and what else do I need to add? The cheese, of course, and then my sauce is going to be done. After letting it simmer for about five minutes or so, I added some spices and the minced garlic and the rest of the Parmesan cheese. I put in some, you know, with the filling. Um, and it's it's pretty thick. Um, you could definitely use a thickening agent with flour and all, but this is pretty good. So I'm excited to try it. I haven't tried this recipe before. And then I have the chopped spinach and everything in here for the filling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the oven to 350. And then over here I have my big pan. I'm going to pour half the sauce into there. And then I'm going to fill these guys using a spoon, it'll get a little messy, with the filling, put them in the pan, and then once it's all done, I'm going to top it off with the rest of the sauce. Aren't they beautiful? It was a little time consuming, but really not that bad once you get the hang of it. Um, it was a perfect amount for all 14 of these shells and if I didn't make it clear before these are uncooked shells they will get cooked while in sitting in the sauce in the oven so I'm going to pour the rest of the sauce on here top it with some more cheese of course and then I will put some of the tomatoes on there and pop it in the oven so a little bit of the alfredo sauce may or may not have gotten on my finger and in my mouth and it is absolutely delicious. I can't believe something so simple can taste so good. So I poured it all on here, added some mozzarella cheese, what was left, and then I topped it with really only like a fourth of the can of tomatoes. I'm not a big tomato person, but like I said, I really wanted to replicate the prepackaged meal exactly, so I just added those on top. 
and I'm gonna stick it in the oven for about 45 minutes and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done and in the meanwhile I'm gonna calculate the cost of this versus the pre-packaged meal all right, another reason why I love this collab is because of the math I got to do. When else do I get to practice math? <laughs> um, I'm just a nerd like that. Anyway, so the Bertoli ricotta and cheese uh, spinach, sorry, cannelloni, um, is $3.29 for one serving that includes three of the cannelloni shells. So mine was 14 shells. So what I did was divide 14 by three, which comes out to 4.67 you know, servings. I multiplied that by the price of one serving, which is $3.29. So the total, if you were to replicate this, is $15.35. All right, so let's look at mine. My delicious ricotta and cheese manicotti. The pasta itself, 14 shells, is $1.75. Ricotta cheese, 15 ounces, $1.79. Mozzarella cheese, I got the 8 ounce block, that is $1.89. Fresh spinach, the whole bag is, you know, $1.89 or whatever it is. But um, I used half the bag, it was 90 cents. One egg was only 10 cents. Olive oil for a tablespoon, I calculated it by dividing how many was in the entire container and the price. Came out to only nine cents. Diced tomatoes, um, it's about 79 cents for a can, so I use only a fourth of a can, 20 cents. Parmesan cheese, I'll come back to that in the Alfredo part. So the sauce, heavy cream, two cups, $1.69. Butter, I also had to calculate that by how much was in the tub and the price, and it came out to 16 cents. Minced garlic, same thing, calculated, it's 15 cents for a tablespoon. And then the Parmesan cheese, I used Grana Provano, which to me it tastes exactly like Parmesan cheese. Um, that was $3.49 and it's 5.29 ounces. I used the entire bag, most of it went into the Alfredo sauce, but I used maybe like a fourth of a cup for the uh, pasta filling. And then spices throughout, I use salt and pepper, onion powder, and garlic sauce, or salt, and that's only about eight cents. So the total for mine is $12.29, which means that you have a $3.06 savings. So I definitely need the price goal, that's super exciting. Now I just have to see if it's actually tastier than the pre-package, which I'm not really worried about. And it's going to have all, you know, no preservatives and all of that disgusting stuff. So I'm excited to see what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. Here is the final product. Doesn't it look delicious? It absolutely tastes delicious. It's healthier, over $3 cheaper. You can't go wrong. So I hope you guys try this out and you are more than welcome to join this collab. I will post the links to all the other collaborators below in the description box. So go check them out and subscribe to them if you haven't already. Thank you again, Connie Porter, for inviting me in this collab. It was a whole lot of fun and I get a delicious dinner and lunch out of it. So that's awesome. And again, so join us if you can. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, and I will catch you guys soon in my next video. Bye, guys.